Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. Like, I think God's law is genuinely in the Bible, but, you know, the way that it has politically been curated, um, the way that we even have our English translations might not ultimately, you know, be the translations from the original language that it was in. Like, it's this is a different, like, structuring of language, too. You know, there's this ultimate um, debate about the Bible, um, uh, between like there's there's a verse um, and I'm I'm sorry that I can't really tell you exactly what uh, what uh, what book it's in, but you know like it's uh, an abomination to like to lay with another man, and I mean there are then that talk like you know we've like I guess you know now more so related it to like gay marriage and you know whether or not that's like ethical in the Bible, but I mean there's a debate with historians asking. Like, maybe the translation meant pedophilia, and, like, the closest word in our language was <laughs> was man, in, in our language. Um, and so, like, there are these small things that, you know, when we, like, switch to, like, a Gregorian English that might just deserve, like, like just a little more, um, um, uh, uh, more of a lens, I guess, um, and, and just more emphasis and time to just really to translate and, and think about what, what certain things mean. But I do think, um, I, I absolutely understand what you, you're saying and um, thank you for sharing. And I would love to hear any of yeah, that none of the, None of all of the many English translations that are done by many different organizations reflect what you just said, okay? Okay, um, so that's, I think that's, Honestly, like the the talk, the thing I'm talking about, English translation, like that's it's a different framework that we kind of yeah. These people are are Hebrew scholars, okay. Now we might favor one translation than other. There's no perfect translation, but you're suggesting maybe possibly, but um, I bet you're not even familiar, okay, uh, with 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 the Bible. What's the fifth, What's the fifth book in the New Testament? I actually, so, so this is exactly why. What is I, the fifth book in the New Testament? Absolutely. So this is why I actually joined this discussion because I, I want to What is the learn. fifth book in the New Testament? See, and this is becoming dogmatic. This, and, no, I'm not dogmatic. Uh, I'm asking you a legitimate question. You're making assertions about no, the nature asked, of the Bible and no. translation. I asked you a question. I'll repeat the question. What is the fifth book in the New Testament? I, I do not know, but I Okay, so you are speaking out of complete ignorance about the Bible. I am not speaking out of complete ignorance. Not complete ignorance, no. Okay, is is Second Hezekiah in the Old Testament, the New Testament, or the Apocrypha? <laughs> I, I can't tell you, but of I... Of course, you, yeah, yeah you know Darth, why? Because it doesn't Darth, exist. No, but Darth, like, I, I you're actually... Just, see, you know what? You know what? Hold on a second. And I would I'm confronting you that you're just making up this no, stuff that you're saying and that you actually, don't know anything about the Bible. Real quick? Wait, can so, I, yeah, can you I, can you can wait, wait a second. You're wait, just no, saying, no, well, no. it could have been pedophilia. Well, then why why is it that none of the I, English translators who are have uh, degrees in ancient Hebrew, okay, translated it that way? I think that you know we're revisiting this, and you know, yeah. Like, so you made an unfounded speculation that's without support. I think that I I actually was Theo was actually really amazing with this um when you left like I was like I opened up about you know wanting to re like very much like rejuvenate my Christianity and um you're not I a Christian ma'am so that's ex so this is exactly what I was talking about with Theo um how it's really I'm trying to learn more and I'm trying to well, have that's these good. open yeah and I'm trying to have these open okay. discussions and okay. when did you come God. all right let me ask you a question uh, when did you come to the point in your life where you realized that you were going to hell for eternity um I never actually came to that point because then you're not a my... Christian then whoa no, no wait but, a minute but the seeds are like, like the bible the bible teaches because... Jesus himself said a man must be born again in order to enter the kingdom of heaven. When we well, read through the New Testament, we what we find about... out that being born again is we, we come to a point in our lives where we realize our utter guilt, condemnation, and well, wrath that we're think, under. Wait, no. you want to get a Christian follower? Don't you want to 
instead of condemn her, help teach her. That's, I don't that's think what she was. I don't okay. think what she so was Jay, saying. I'm not condemning her. I'm simply yes, pointing out to her. You're doing. You really uh, just listen. There's too much her. crosstalk. No, there's yeah, not. yeah, please. We're not yeah, doing yeah, yeah, hello, listen, guys. Hey, so Jade, please, please. You're violating the rules. Okay, we're not going to do this crosstalk here. Okay. Now, so Jay, my rule. does the Bible lay out clearly me. what a Christian is? No. Can I first I, yeah. speak first? Okay. Mute, mute, God. I don't think please. I don't think a conversation works like that where you can just ask a okay. question. So Jay, so Jay listen to me carefully. You're content. quibbling. You're not okay. Listen, I'm going to remove you from the stage no. if you dodge the question. That's what you does want. the don't Bible do listen to me? I'll tell you this last time. Please, there is no arguing your tone, with please. the. Okay, have a nice I'm day. Not... You two, you both of you are gone. Okay. Okay. These people want to make outrageous statements, and then when they're called on a carpet to explain it, and then we explain why they're incorrect, they just become defensive and argumentative, and and just engage in cross talking. No, you two guys can stay down there and cool you, cool you, cool your jets. Okay. See, you want to go on and on and on, but you don't want to be challenged, okay? These people want to talk about the Bible. They want to talk about Christianity, but they're putting on full display that they're ignorant of the Bible. Why do you think I asked, why do you think I asked the question, what is the fifth book in the New Testament? That is an easy question to answer. Anybody who has any basic familiarity with the Bible— Yes, it's it's X. Okay. okay, and now the fact that somebody gets the answer correct doesn't mean they're right about what they're saying about the Bible. But it's a question that's designed to smoke out those people who are trying to suggest that they have a basic familiarity of the Bible, and yet they don't even know the fifth book in the New Testament. Okay, you know, talk talk is cheap. You know, people are so accustomed to shooting off their mouths, but they but they deeply resent their assertions being challenged and then they have a hissy fit you know she claims she's a christian she's not a christian a few moments later just as you know i'm a, just as a psychology major you know i just you know certain body language and certain tones of how you i don't have a problem with the message but it's definitely the way how he was going across about it as well was just definitely alarming and especially her as a woman like you know it's a certain way how he could have just said how he felt without having to be so hostile towards her. So that's all. I really appreciate that. And I thank you guys for allowing me back on stage. Um, I didn't like how he called me these people. And I feel like this is just so indicative of like my experiences with this religion. It's just always like, it's always put you down and it's always ostracized you and make fun of you who put you on a stage and make others, like, just, just like, there's no love. There's no love. And I was just explaining to you guys before he was able to hear how, like, my relationship with God is one of love. And, like, I was, maybe I was incorrect about what I said. And I was actually not asserting from a place of understanding like, I wish he would have heard that I said, I've heard a scholar say, and I've heard a historian say, like, I'm not saying that, oh, this is it. And I'm just citing what is out there. And I just want people to comment on it so that I can learn and how I can understand. How I can be a better person, I can, how I can be a better Christian. And, like, I feel so, like, debased as a woman of color, as a woman, as a person, as a human being by this man who may know so much about God, but doesn't embody it every single day with every single person, how he just spoke to me and how he spoke to Sajid. Um, I wanted to comment because, you know, it was the wording of a question that I think was, I at least at the very end of the day, like I at least want to make my point heard um, that when he asked, when are you going to hell? And when did you know that you're going to hell? Um, I answered in a way because I don't think I'm going to hell now, but maybe there was a time when I was so down on my luck and I was, I mean, I'm at rock bottom all the time, honestly, but like there was a time when it was worse. And 
how I accepted this love and like God into my heart and what God meant to me into my heart. And there's been a turnaround. I've always been blessed throughout my life, but it's just this awareness that I have of things right now and this gentleness that I have with people and this trust that I have in the idea that it's always going to be okay. Um, that started a little later. And so like, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with myself now. And like, I just, I was just saying that like, this is just, and I, I said this before, but this is very indicative of my um, experiences with this religion in particular, how it's driven out of fear and like how I am afraid to speak when Darth comes on this stage, how I'm afraid to ask a question, how I'm afraid to love God in the way that I want to love God because Darth is telling me that I'm going to go to hell for it. I don't like that. And that's all I have to say. And uh. maybe I'm not a Christian like to you guys. Uh, maybe I'm not a Christian, but I love God with all of my heart. Uh, I, man, I, I was actually, um, I may have looked like I was sitting in this room at the time, but I was in the middle of something, so I didn't hear the conversation. Um, what exactly happened? I asked a question about, like, you know, whether, you know, because we were, Constance made a, she asked a question about, oh, like, you know, it seems like we're giving some human traits to God, like, and then Darth, Darth responded, oh, like, you know, people tend to anthropomorphize God, but, you know, that's not the case, and we shouldn't do that. Um, and then I said, well, you know, you know, one of one of the key components of anthropomorphization is assigning, like, gender, like, gender pronouns, like, to these entities. So when we say he or she or they, like, we, anth we like, inherently anthropomorphize God in our own language and in our own Western concept of making sense of what God is. Um, Darth didn't like that because Darth then said, and I guess you guys don't like that because, I mean, uh. hey, it's fair. Um, but the challenge was, are you saying that since God refers to him as his, like himself as a he, are you saying that, you know, God is wrong and the Bible is wrong? And I, I retorted that I just think that, you know, when we think about the language and the transcription, like we just need to be like aware that like there are like, you know, we are speaking in a completely different language with a completely different set of like just rules, predicate rules. Just And so sometimes it might not be the case, but. I, I was maybe I was maybe I was wrong and I shouldn't have said that. Um, oh, okay. So, yeah, oh. and so that's when I was kicked off the stage the first time. Um, but the second um, time I came up and then I I made this, like I spoke about um, like the Bible and I made the unfounded claim. Well, I didn't make the claim. I just like kind of cited that there are historians or no, I I did make the claim that you know the Bible is both like a, a God's word, but like, you know, it was founded in a time, like we need to study the history and the politics of the Bible as well. Um, and just not like think, like we have to always be aware that there was a politic of a time in a certain area of the world that did like inform um, some of the law, like not God's law, not God's law, but some of like the settings and the, some of the things that are in the Bible. Um, but, and so then I, I, I cited a verse and I wasn't entirely sure the the book it was in, but you know, what they it talked about, you know, lay, like gay marriage and, and being gay and laying with another man. And I made the claim that there are historians that are, that might think that that's a mistranslation of like pedophilia. And there wasn't really another word, but then for it, but then that, that might've been incorrect. Um, but Darth cut me off and kicked me off the stage and said, these people, and I'm just like, okay, I was just, I just wanted an open conversation. And if you guys can tell me I'm wrong in a respectful way, then I totally appreciate that. But like, I'm not about to be like called these people by a white man. So 